The new designation appears in the latest edition of the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, known to mental health professionals as DSM-5. Up till now, pedophilia has been considered a disorder. But the APA maintains there is a distinction between pedophilia and pedophilic disorder. The orientation does not include acting on the illicit thoughts. It's only a disorder, so they tell us, if there's consummation. True, being tempted is not the same thing as giving in to temptation. But I submit that somebody struggling with this problem needs help and needs to hear that it's more than a mere orientation. It reminds me of what happened in the mid-70s when the APA succumbed to pressure and declared homosexuality an orientation. Now the tables are turned so much that treatment for the condition is being outlawed. Don't you think we can expect a little more blurring of the lines? Paul Cristiano, a spokesman for Before You Act, an advocacy group for pedophiliacs, argues against a so-called one-size-fits-all approach, in which a man who commits 20 consecutive rapes is treated the same as a 19-year-old boy who has sex with his 17-year-old girlfriend. I believe the convicted child porn offender is overstating the case, perhaps in hope of lowering the age of consent. We're standing at a crossroads, like we were 40 years ago. For our children's sake, let's not fall for the same kind of anything goes campaign again. This is Steve Eastman reporting.